Hello there guys, um, I've just literally entered into Reading, right, and the moment I came into Reading, I'll come into the main centre roundabout and a police car, well actually, I was driving and the police car was in front of me and it pulled over and come in behind me and then it came down the side of me at the roundabout and she just said to me, she said, you're a bit laden, aren't you? And I went just, and she went, and she said, uh, uh, it was a female police officer, and um, uh, she just sort of thing. I said, oh, heading to the university. I said, anyway, I said, three days until uh, the final day of the submission day. And she wished me luck, actually. She said, so good luck with everything, and then just drive off. But seriously, after that, my fucking legs were shaking, because at the end of the day, right, I've been in a situation where I've been driving with my two kids, my previous, well, I say previous, that's a horrible thing to say, but with Aaron and Faith. Um, and I've had this sort of stuff in the car and um, obviously I've had the police, in fact, I've, oh, that's an ambulance, thank God for that, sirens. Seriously, it does freak me out because it's funny that they're coming and pulling over me when I'm off to see like an XMI5 agent in it. Seriously, my brake discs are going to need sorting. The kids are still asleep, boys are still asleep. I'm just trying to find the oracle. Um, yeah, literally, as soon as I pulled into Reading, police pulled straight down the side of me. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> Actually, wish me luck and give me the thumbs up. So, um, I need to double check actually on my car tax because I got a letter to say that my direct debit hadn't gone through. So basically, when as soon as I get here, I'm going to be ringing all my bills and finding out where I am and resetting everything up for um, sort of yearly stuff anyway. So um, yeah, so basically, I'm in Reading. Um, I don't even know the time because my clock's wrong. Uh, I'm looking for. It says Aldershot. I used to live in Aldershot, Oracle Riverside. So I oh, want this way. I haven't actually checked how far I am from where I'm going, I've just sort of got here. Oh, that's the Oracle. For fuck's sake, I don't want to go there. Um, yes, I do. So yeah, literally at a roundabout like this, and the police there, window, she just said, you're a bit laden up. So I just went, keep sleeping. I said, um, I, I, what I might, I should have said was uh, checking into a hotel or something, but at the end of the day, it's none of their business why I'm here. The fact that they're coming in straight, is literally the moment I enter Reading, um, you can see my kids all cozied up asleep in the back. Got a couple of things. A bit laden up. Um, I didn't actually have my seatbelt on, so it could have actually appalled me. Um, but officially, yes, it does scare me because I have no power whatsoever if the police ever decide to just pull me over, whatever, and just sort of say, like, um, Premier Inn. I like Premier Inn, it's got lovely beds. Um, you know, and just sort of say, like, we just want to, I don't know, they could, they could do it for any reason. Uh, you know, when, when you've been through it and you know the realities of it, it's a bit different. Right, I'm going to go to the other one now, the Oracle, the other side, because I need to sort of, like, go and pull over and go on Google and check everything. And Queen's Road, Town Centre. I mean, I'm going to be out in the country anyway, so, but I've wanted to come into the centre first get a bank check, go for a wee, um, Hollybrook, Queen's Road, I'm going to go to Queen's Road actually, yeah, literally, as soon as I get in, police, straight up, talk to me through the window, a bit laden up, wish me luck, talk about child abuse, not the child abuse, the three days until the inquiry, um, my radio is still not working, it's not gone back on, uh, so it's 12 a.m. two more days to the end of the inquiry so basically get your submissions in even if you can't write it yet just open up the document and just literally say you know can you please ask for a deadline on the submission date because you're struggling to write um, because it's a lot of information or something and just see what they send back so I can't see it being a problem do you know what I mean like really I can't oh fuck that's bloody um, like, I seriously, I can't see it being a problem. Um, I've done it with other things. Um, universities, they're an education thing. As long as you give some form of grounds, um, I don't see why it should be a problem. 
Um, I might have to do it if this doesn't work out. I could get there and me and David buddy talk constantly, and but at the end of the day, if I don't get this in, I don't get my chance for an inquiry anyway. So, but it's not easy with the boys. Um, hey, at least I know my insurance and everything's all right because the police would have um, done me there and then if need be. They'd have done all the checks and checked everything, got my name. They know I'm here, so the police know I'm here in Reading. Um, obviously, I've already had a notification on my crack book about copyrights and stuff like that, so other people know what's going on, you know, free. Ah, well, see, I don't want this oracle. Um, right, I need to go. It's quite a cool, different landscape here, actually. I need to go, it's 12 o'clock here, two days, submission. I'm probably gonna go on the final day and literally just over the space of four hours, just constantly just go boom, 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 and just get it out all in one go. So anyway, I'm off to speak with David Shaler. I've known David Shaler since 2013 and then obviously of him sort of. Um, and he's gonna go through how to write an affidavit properly, what it is, how it works, what you can use it for, uh, common law and a couple of other things. But so basically this guy has worked all the way down the rabbit hole, do you know what I mean, MI5, so he knows. And he was involved in a lot of stuff to do with, you have to do some Googling, just put David Shaler, ex MI5 agent, I'm gonna go left. Yeah, barbers. Ah, oh, fuck, bus lane, shit. Fuck a duck. <gasps> Oh, seriously, I hate fucking... The fall faculty. Oh, fuck a duck. Set buses in Tennessee. Oh, seriously, sometimes I hate these little cities. Oh, that is a really, 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 really cute little... Oh, how sweet is that? I'd be interested to see what that looks like inside. Wow, that is so cute. Oh, seriously. I'm gonna change my mind a bit. So anyway, guys, I'm in Reading. Uh, keep an eye out on for me. I've already got the police checking up on me as soon as I've entered town. So, love, live, dream, written on there in graph work. Um, yeah, I've had the police basically check up on me already, literally, as soon. Female officer, very lovely. In fact, she gave me the thumbs up and wished me luck. Uh, basically just, you know, very short, very sweet. Pulled next to me at a roundabout. Windows open, talked to me through the window, shitting myself a bit afterwards. Uh, I'm going up a steep hill, might cut out. Uh, two days to the end of this. After it's done, you'll all go, what the fuck? Why did I not know about this? So please, 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 and put the links again down in this live feed. And I'm about to go back round. Am I no roundabouts? No. Oh, seriously, I need to pull over somewhere where it's like, nice and just quiet and off the road and not just sat next to a fucking grunged out bloody I don't want to go all the shop farm but I want to go oh, I don't like the sound of my chassis on this car you know it sounds a bit thuddy um, I'm, I need to put this up for sale but I need to make sure I sell it for a good piece of price to make as much profit as I can but also fair to the buyer um, and I flip it over to a van. I mean, the amount of stuff I've got in here, just when we fucking paperwork's ridiculous. Um, right. I need like a little park or something just to be able to, I still need internet on my phone though. Fancy that, literally pulling into the city and within seconds having the police just getting me to wind down my window through the car and speaking to them and mental that's how that's how that's 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 how that's how much they watch us that's how much they control what we do that's how much I'm under surveillance that's how much I mean they uh, look I'm not paranoid I'm just aware but at least I know they're not gonna pull me over they're just letting me know that they're here, they're watching, I don't know what they think's going on here. Oh, I don't know, seriously. Um, at least my daughter wants to be a spy detective, so MI5 links and blogs and tags will probably make it easier for my daughter to find me as she's Googling about spies and MI5 agents. So anyway, I'm gonna be live with David Shaler tomorrow to teach you about 
uh, how to write an affidavit, um, what you need to be putting in and making sure before the final day, I don't know what time it's going to be shutting down, I need to go that way actually. I don't know, oh actually, maybe not. No, that's Morrison's and shit, I don't want to go down there. Um, and making sure that um, you've got everything that you need to put into your submission to give you the best chance whatsoever of getting a um, investigation into your own case alone and if enough of us have, have rise some submission then they've got no choice um, there's enough details there's enough stuff in the groups there's enough stuff for stuff and um, I'll be back for potentially Thursday I think it is David's got a meeting on Thursday so as soon as he's done with his meetings he's got a documentary going on um, then we'll probably head to Portsmouth if or not he's coming back with me depends how all this goes um, how well we work together on this um, and how I feel about stuff how the boys cope with it all um, and I'm gonna have to start thinking about some petrol soon so um, what's that it it ends Oh, it ends. What's that? That was really spooky. It ends. And I find out what a book called It Ends is all about. Um, that looks like a very lovely place. Uh, world turned upside down travel lodge. What a beautiful little place. That looks lovely. Um, really, seriously, I need like Reading. Oh, fucking hell. I hate places like this. Such a country bumpkin. I really am, it's all like, it's like driving around London. I really am a country girl, seriously, I'm a country girl. There's this plum doing in front of me. So, potentially, I will have an unmarked police car following me probably to see where David is as well because David goes off the grid so I might have to do a few little jungle fever things because I don't want to give David's location out either so King you have to google who it is I'm talking about when I'm talking about David Shaler so we'll put an article up David Shaler who's David Shaler and what's he about um, and why put all this stuff up about affidavits what affidavits are that's for amber um, share it out get as many people in as possible it's really important that even if you can't be asked with this that you share it out because somebody out there might really need this information and be sitting there as soon as this is all done and dusted and gone like you know if they, look what would you do if in say 18 months I say look I've got contact with my kids and it's because I put my submission in and all of this and go do you know what I could have had that myself but because you didn't go through the door I can only hold it open for so long I've said this um, and I've given up going to Spain with Dean so um, you know, and I'm running on a really low budget trying to pull this off because I can focus on my own stuff at the end of the day. Um, I can do that, you know, quite easy, but I'm trying to help you as well because, uh, you know, I know how it feels and a lot of other people know how it feels. It's just fucking roundabouts on roundabouts on roundabouts. I'm going to go to the University of Reading. I need to just only just stop and just Google and see how far. I didn't want to use all my battery, you see, all the way here. So, and my app not working on Google do die yet. Um, and I need to Google the location of where the farm is that I'm going to. Um, this was the roundabout that the police sort of pulled over into. Make me nervous because they can go just get out of the car. I'm glad I don't live in America because, um, you know, they can just sort of go get out of the car and put guns to your head and force you out of your car. Do you know what I mean? Our police get a little bit ruly and stuff, but it was female to female, it was cool. Um, the hospital's probably got a nice little road next to it. I go and pull up, I just need to sort of go on the internet, make sure I've got a battery, um, check where camp is, and um, go from there. Anyway, I'm going on a straight dive, so I'll catch you later. Bye.